Acrylic, lesson four. Yay. Hello, everyone. I'm back. I got forgiven, so I feel better now. All right. What letters is it now? Let's see. We did a, z, z. All right. We are on the letter I. Ah, bright red tongue. Sorry. <laughs> Just eating red stuff. All right. The letter I looks like a big backwards N. Ta-da! I feel like Kilroy was here. Sorry. Jill, you may get or may not get that. All right, but the only thing with the letter I in acrylic is that it makes the continental foreign non-English pronunciations. So it never makes the sound I. It only makes the sound I as in pit or E as in machine. Okay. Oh, my hand is See? Either pit Either I or E. Okay? That's the only two ways it can be pronounced. Okay? Next, we have the letter Y, which is the sound Y, which is actually the consonant version of the letter I. So for that, it is marked, it's the letter I with a breathe over it. Remember the little smiley face thing? That makes the sound y. Now, it's never like in the word by, by. It never makes the sound I. It only makes the sound y, as in yes, yay, yippee, yours, yonkle. You know, only things like that. And if you'll notice, that was that is the same letter that was in the vowel combination I. Ta-da! See how things are all fitting together? Yay! All right, so we've learned I, we've learned Y. I hope I'm not going too fast for you, but I don't exactly have tons of time. All right, we'll learn the letter K and L now. All right, these, these are really simple ones. They never change. All right, you have K. and L. Oops. Making my lowercase L way too large. Equals K equals L. All right. As you'll notice, K is almost exactly the same. It's a little different. Um, you could write just an uppercase K for both, and it would be perfectly understandable, but uh, it's better if you have the little curl in there. And then you have L, which looks kind of like the D without the bottom part and the spikes. I don't know. That's how you want to think of it. But that's K and L. All right? That's it for lesson four, I think. I'll end on those easy ones. Oh, oh, let's try writing something. Let's try writing something. Let's see. What? Uh, I don't know. Bail. As in, I posted bail. All right, you think about how you would write that and then write it down on a piece of paper while I write it here and you can see if you're right. All right, got it written down? Okay. Big reveal. Bail. Because remember from lesson one, we have. I'm trying to get over to it. B. This can be either A or A, but there is no word bell. Oh, that. I'll admit it. In truth, this could be either bell or bail. 
could be either one. And you would hope by context that you understood that. I po if you wrote, I posted bell, that'd be a little odd. But you put, I posted bail, everyone knows exactly what you're talking about. So it can be a little ambiguous at times. So yeah, now we can write some words, you know, learning things, learning things. So we'll see what we learn in, you know, lesson five. Ta-ta.